Okay, I'm here to um, attend a special request today from a student that is having a, a problem uh, doing ribbing. I, uh, I have here a couple rounds done already. You can see, um, first of all, how I count my rows. See, after the cast on row, I can count one, two, three, four, five Vs above my cast on row, so I have done five rounds of my ribbing, knit one for one. And I'm just going to do the knitting, again, knit one for one normally, so you can see my movements of my hands. So here I start with the pro one, move the yarn to the top, knit one, move the yarn down, pro one, knit, move the yarn up, knit one. I can knit faster than I can talk, but I'm trying to do this slowly. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Knit one. Bring the yarn down. Pull one. Move the yarn up. Knit one. Move the yarn down. Pull one. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more stitches. And because I am uh, working with bamboo needles, the stitches don't slide as much as a metal needle. So sometimes I help pull the stitches or push them forward. So that would be my ribbing. Now uh, I'm going to pull more yarn here. This is the tail of my ribbing that you see in the camera. I am going to just knit without splitting the yarn. So I'll knit as if I was going to start a knit round of a hat, for example. Slowly. I can focus this better. It's an autofocus, so I don't want this to be hard for you to see. Knit. 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 If you notice, um, I do not help. After I put the needle into the stitch, I put my yarn behind the right hand needle. I do not help keeping the tension by pulling this or doing this down with my index finger or my thumb. I just leave the yarn completely free and finish the stitch. Put the yarn there, finish the stitch. See? Put the yarn there, finish the stitch. The yarn in front of the needle is completely free. Now, the same would be with my purl. Pull the stitch, pull the stitch. Try to refrain from doing this or for, from pulling the yarn, actually putting the yarn behind the right hand needle and pulling here or here or holding down. The tension that comes from the neck, the yarn around the neck should be enough to work the stitch. And that's what makes the stitches completely even is the fact that you're going to put the yarn around the needle. The needle diameter is going to make the size of the stitch as you pull this away. See? So I'm pulling around now. Trying to move different positions here so you can see what I'm doing. Pulling around. I want to take the um, opportunity that I'm, you know, videotaping this 
and I also want to show you how I do a yarn over and a yarn over twice. So here would be a yarn over, pull one, yarn over, pull one. Now if I'm going to do a yarn over knit the stitch, I just leave the yarn in the wrong place, meaning below the right hand needle, and knit the next stitch. And chana, I get an automatic yarn over knit one. Again, if I'm going to do yarn over knit one, I leave the yarn in the wrong place to knit and knit one. And I get the yarn over knit one. See that? If I'm doing yarn over pro one, then nothing changes. Yarn over pro one. One more thing I want to show you, yarn over twice, yarn over once, yarn over twice, pull the stitch, yarn over one, yarn over twice, pull a stitch. If this was yarn over twice, knit the stitch, I would keep the yarn, uh, actually do a yarn over once and knit the stitch and I get a yarn over twice knit stitch. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I'll do this once again. If I was going to do yarn over twice knit one, all I'm going to do is a yarn over once and knit one because every time I knit with the yarn in the wrong place, I get a yarn over knit one. All right, so this was another request. One more thing. I want to show you how I do purl two together. Again, purl two together and I'm using the front loop of the stitches. And now I'm going to show you how how I purl through sorry, how I purl two together through the back loop. So I'm going to come and exaggerate this movement. I'm going to come in the second stitch on the left hand needle from the second to the first, from back to front, and pull the two together through the back loop. See how they lean in opposite directions? Again, if I'm going to pull through the back loop, I'm going to come from the second stitch on the second, uh, on the, sorry, <laughs> can't speak today. If I'm going to purl two together through the back loop, I'm going to come from the second stitch on the left hand needle from the second to the first and purl them two together through the back loop. And there you go. You can see the difference, especially those two here. Mostly they're going to do they're going to be different on the right side of the fabric. See? You turn this right side up. This is purl two together and this is purl two through get two together through the back loop. And purl two together leans to the right. Purl two together through the back loop leans to the left. I hope this short video will clarify a couple things for you. You can always email at info at andreawongknits.com. Again, if you have any questions, email me info, I-N-F-O, at andreawongknits.com, and I will be glad to respond. Let me know your suggestions, too. I'll talk to you soon.